and welcome back everyone to night some developments and this is actually part 21 of my 2025 fps tutorial series and in this video we're actually going to be implementing a shotgun system so as you can see here if i go ahead and fire my shotgun will shoot a preset number of pellets that is completely custom up to you with a completely custom amount of spread as well as damage and fire rate we're doing it this way just because it's a lot more professional this is how CSGO Battlefield and Warzone does it so super cool and useful tutorial I provide you with all of the code all of the files so it's pretty much impossible to mess up I also fixed a couple of bugs like respawn bugs where ammo wasn't resetting before now that works as well as the HUD for the knife and the grenade are now invisible just to make the game a lot cleaner so yeah super cool and easy tutorial thank you to Xerda for inspiring this video as well as providing the base code as well as thank you so much to my channel supporters who either purchased the score premium to have complete access to all of the game files or people who super thank down below so thanks to those and let's go ahead and get into the video implementing a shotgun system is actually pretty simple since we're already running fast cast where a ray is being shot out of the barrel all we really have to do for shotguns is just to fire multiple rays give them random x y and z offsets and that will create that random spread that we're looking for so in this video i'm not actually going to go over how to create a view model since i already showed you how to create a bunch of them before and i don't really feel like spending time on the model so we're pretty much only going to implement the system today but i do want to mention a couple of super important things if you are going to create a view model and those are make sure that it has an attachment folder make sure it has an animation controller a aim part, a muzzle, a main, it is rigged properly. It's not missing any joints or welds, as well as it has a module script that is in either primary or secondary with the same exact name as the gun, as well as in your weapons folder, which we use for third person, you do have a model with the same name. You can actually cheat this by just duplicating whatever view model you already made in the past, and then just duplicating it and renaming it for the gun that you're making. You could actually access this view model if you subscribe to my Discord Premium, where you have actually access to the complete game file, except the animations do need to be spoofed. So you will have all of the view models that I made in your game if you just do the Discord Premium. Anyways, so how do we actually implement the so-called shotgun system? We're going to start off by going to my Discord server. This is linked down below in the description, or if you're already part of this, it's an FPS 2025 video 21 shotguns you should see a framework client and a module add-ons basically we're going to start off with framework client go ahead and select the entire thing make sure to not accidentally select this text here or miss any ends down here copy the code go back to your game open up framework client and you can actually use a shortcut Control a to select the entire old script I do recommend making copies or versions of your game that do work for you just in case you mess something up. So you can go ahead and delete the old one and paste in the new one. It should be 1,164 lines long. And the reason I actually make you copy and paste the entire client code in every video is because I do go back through it and I optimize some things. I fix a couple of bugs like we had the respawn bug where we got some random errors as well as some of the ammo wasn't resetting. And I actually went back and fixed all of it. So... As you probably remember from like the past 10 videos, don't forget to swap in your gun names, enable any animations that you might have made that I didn't, make sure to match your walk speed, which is I think like 980 something. Uh, yeah, right here, 38. Your walk speed, your sprint speed, as well as there's the same exact values up in lines 1080 something. So as you can see again, sprint speed, walk speed, this controls are bobbing as well as um yeah that's about it for the client code basically we're gonna run all of our shotgun systems through our actual module scripts in their settings by the way super important thing that i forgot to mention in my video 20 about raycast do not i repeat do not implement fastcast for melee or grenades you do not want those to be fastcast our melee is done through just hit detection and then our grenade is done through object propulsion so do not implement fast cast into module scripts or either grenades or knives 
other than that, you will have to add our um, module add-ons. So for this video to implement shotguns, you do have to add these lines of code into every module script of a, either a rifle, a shotgun, or any pistol. So for stuff that shoot and have fast cast, you're going to implement the code from here. So start off with a value, which is going to be, is it a shotgun? And I, for the purpose of this video, I am going to show you how to do this on my Troy Defense AR because you probably don't already have a shotgun view model. If you do, congrats. If you don't, just use a random view model that you have already. Go ahead and actually find wherever you see the lines for is melee, is grenade, and right under is grenade, paste in the line is shotgun. Basically, if a gun is a shotgun, you will set it to true. If it is not, like Troy Defense CR or pistol, you set it to false. But just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to keep it at true because I want to show you how the system actually works. Now pay attention where I put this second part of the code. If you go ahead and second copy this code here, you're going to go ahead and find where we do fire uh, settings fire, this function here. And you're going to find line that says caster fire, origin direction, velocity, and caster behavior. You're going to select this line here. You're going to delete it and you're going to paste in the code that you just copied. And you should see that same line down here. Basically, how does this system work? It's checking if in settings, it is in fact a shotgun, if it's true. For every I1, so for every shot, it's going to fire six rays, which is how many pellets you want in your shotgun round. You could make more or less just by changing this number. This is basically just the number of rays that's going to fire per shot that you make. And for those six pellets or how many ever you want, it's going to just do a math random X offset, Y offset, and Z offset. You can actually control the amount of spread right here in these values. Since it's division, then higher value you make it, then less spread you're going to get. And then lower the value is the more spread you're going to get. So you can play around with that as well. And then it's just going to implement that random position into the fast cast. And then if it is not a shotgun, so else it's just going to use the old um, fast cast system. So also a couple of super important things. If you leave it at this, you're going to have a fully automatic shotgun that fires super quickly. So I would highly recommend also changing stuff like ammo, max ammo. I would also change the damage because every single pellet will have this amount of damage in your gun. But the two most important things that I would highly recommend is changing the fire rate back to semi for shotguns, as well as debounce. Debounce is basically the time it takes between shots. So for shotguns, if you use, for example, a pump, every time you fire, you have to pump it in your animation. So you don't want players to kind of spam fire so I would recommend setting it to either one second or at least 0.8 seconds, which is what I run. And this will allow you to have that cool shotgun effect. Let's go ahead and actually test this out. If I go ahead and play the game and go ahead and just load in and walk up to this wall, go ahead and fire. As you can see, there is a random spread of bullets being fired. Just to kind of better visualize it, I am going to quickly enable ray visualization, which is right here. Set this to true and click play. If I go ahead, go back to that wall again and fire. As you can see, I can kind of see how the pellets spread. And then further I get, obviously, the more spread there is, as you can see. And since we also added debounce, I'm unable to just spam it really quickly, which is exactly what we want for the shotguns. Also, this is already done with damage. So if I go ahead and fire, as you can see, that time. Most of my pellets actually hit the player, so they kill them. But if I'm a bit further out, like right here, as you can see, some of them will miss and then the player can actually survive, which is pretty useful. So yeah, that's basically exactly how you implement a shotgun system. So if you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you want me to do in the next video and see you in the next one.